that smell and that rattle when you shake the can is just a feeling that I think that it's an addiction that a lot of graffiti artists, I think, have. My name's Risk, and I'm a partner in the Montana store. It's uh, the first store on the West Coast that carries their entire line from uh, pencils to paint everything they make. This paint was made by graffiti artists for graffiti artists. I've been doing graffiti art for uh, about 28 years. My grandma told me that when I was a kid, I used to draw like the word clouds and clouds and the word fire and fire. So I guess I was doing it when I was a little kid. I don't even know. You know, with people like Jeffrey Deitch coming on to Mocha and doing um, shows with graffiti artists, um, it's in the mainstream, so to speak, um, in the art world now. Now uh, society as a whole accepts graffiti art as an art form, and it's not just something that kids do that you know, listen to hip hop. It just gets to a point where you can't deny the talent that a lot of the graffiti artists have. You just have to open up your eyes eventually and say, wow, they're artists. The internet has made graffiti so accessible that younger artists are generally a lot better because they get to see so much more. But I think that the, the days of painting overpasses are pretty much over. Because everything is so accessible, because the police and everybody else are onto everything, you just can't really do it anymore. Now you see kids and they could sit there and do a little chick chick and they could do that all day and you can't do that when you're out on a freeway so I think a lot of the older writers have um, more funk to their flow I guess. My life goal is to elevate um, any form of aerosol art and to educate people on the difference between aerosol artist and a tagger and a gang member and all these other things and it's all very different.